morning. Here we are downtown Edmonton. Lindsay's going to the knee specialist. It's been a long time waiting, so hopefully I can find this place. 10733 24th Street walk in. Hey! I got it. Carl the foot doctor guy. Big challenge. Here's my doctor's appointment. There. Keep your other your right foot on the partial there below. Bearing. Impressions, lift up your heel and back down. There, other side. Hockey injury. Is that right? What did you injure? Your heel? Okay. And back down. Okay, put your foot down. Okay, so now we're re recreating the arch across. So you do the transition Yeah, this is done on the computer. I can duplicate that to the other side. So we've also, we, not only do we have the longitudinal arch, we've got the transverse arch, and this pushes up on the metatarsal bones. The ball of your foot is sitting right across here. So if you look over here, there's your big toe, and then the lesser toes come around the side, and this bump. The apex of that bump is pushing up on the metatarsal to take less weight on the ball. Heel, once it's carved, it's a little bit more firm, so it doesn't allow your heel to twist in or out relative to the vertical shaft of your tibia. The material up here is a little softer. This has a little bit more flex, so this actually has some shock absorption. And then the milling machine goes out and carves everything that's not shaped like your foot. And then we trim this, and then we grind the bottom to make sure that it fits into your shoe. Half the battle is making something that's the top matches your foot to get the correction we want, and the other half is to make sure that we have something that sits well in your shoe. It's not going to be, you know, rocking over the shape of the inside of the arch of the shoe or anything. So we carve the, the, the final shape out of that, and then we put a top cover on for padding babies. Here we are back in Edmonton going for appointment number two about what to do with knee and the knee and hip pain and the shoes, and uh, hopefully... This guy can get it figured out with some orthotics for me. This orthotic is going to be a little bit different than what you had before. Um, the main thing we're looking for is just to balance the foot inside the shoe um, and make sure we have lots of space and it's comfortable. Uh, it will take a little bit of time to get used to it here again. Um, and we haven't attached the lift to the shoe just yet. Uh, we may be changing the height of that over time. So right now we're going to get used to it as it is, slowly build up to it. And then uh, down the line, if that height is what we actually need to deal with, then we'll mount that on and you'll have one piece. Okay, here I am in the danger zone. West Edmonton Mall just grabbed my favorite drink, the green tea buzz, the Jugo juice. Just announced the new orthotics in my old runners, the key is to go gradually. So let's go shopping for Zach and get out of here. Damage done. A little bit too much damage. I got uh, some personal training equipment. Gift for Zach. Gift for my mom. One thing for me, so not too, too bad. Feet feeling okay so far. A little bit but uh, walking around an hour or so, I guess that's understandable. Now, a long drive home. Back to Cool Lake we go. Three hours. Stop in Smoky Lake for some gas. <laughs> Crazy ass snowstorm. First day of spring tomorrow. Thank you to Cure. <laughs> John, get in my car out of the ditch. See it back in cold. Oh, no, no.